In the middle of the country, near the Flint Hills that gently roll along in Kansas, is the town of Bel Air, a Wichita suburb. It is home to Sunrise Christian Academy, an unassuming Christian school where the number one high school basketball team in the country plays. Here, basketball is part of the mission, which according to head coach Luke Barnwell, continues the tradition that began with basketball's inventor, a Kansas legend himself. Dr. Naismith invented the game 150 years ago with the intention to disciple young men in between football season and the outdoor sports of baseball and track. His intention was, I gotta find something that I can reach kids. And, and I would stand here and tell you 150 years later that mission hasn't changed. And that's our intention and that's our, our drive and, and our program is a direct reflection of the true purity and the intention of why the game was created. Last year in, a, in, a, in an interview, I said, we're the little engine that could. I mean, we're in the middle of the country and we're battling against programs and schools that are in much uh, more attractive places to live and have much better facilities and have much better resources than we have. And we've somehow climbed the top of the mountain to be as good, as, if not better than everybody. Few, including the school's founder, Dr. Robert Lindstedt, envisioned this climb to the top. When I look at the school and see how God has blessed it and how it's grown, it, it, it's exceeded anything that I ever had in my mind. The first year we had a school, we, we really didn't even call it a school. We had six students, and so I hired a teacher, and at the end of that year, it went so well, and so I thought, okay, we'll, we'll try it another year. And by that time, people started dropping their kids off, and I said, no, 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 this is not a school but it looked like a school. And so eventually we said, you know what? This probably is the start of a school. And I think that was the, the indicator that, wow, you know, this is, this is God's plan, it's not our plan, it's God's plan. In recent years, that plan included an elite basketball program which has produced over 100 Division I men's basketball players. It's really a group effort to have the support from the administration uh, to bring the, the athletes that we have in to support them, you know, as children because they're not with mom and dad, um, to educate them, um, to feed them, to house them, to uh, really like raise them up. It's a, it's a group effort and we have teachers that are amazing. We have administration that are amazing. And it's not only basketball and academics at Sunrise. Classes and extracurriculars are steeped in a Christian worldview. It's built my faith a lot, you know. Some of my old schools, we never really, well, most of my old schools, I mean, we never really got into it. Like, we've never said a prayer before every class. So it's actually helped build my faith. So being here actually has actually made me feel like become a better person. Just the fact that we get to learn about Christ and kind of read the Bible and um, study different topics like within the Bible every single day. Like, we start early and then every Wednesday we have a chapel. So it's like they're feeding into us like every day. In addition to faith, a strong sense of team and family are part of the school's culture, helping prepare students for the future. You know, no matter what, you're always gonna be a part of a team. In a marriage, you're a part of a team. In a family, you're a part of a team. In a job, you're a part of a team. And so I always wanted these guys to know that no matter what you do in life, you need other people. And so that whole concept of teammate is, you know, something that's really, really deep in my heart. We've got a whole team of great players, but the thing that has been the success of it, I think, is the fact they say, we're a team. We're, we're not worried about who's gonna score the points, but we're gonna worry about the score at the end. Our biggest thing that we really push them to is like, it takes sacrifice. You're gonna have to give something of yourself, and it takes others to help you get to where you wanna go. Christian schools around the nation, like Sunrise, are in the midst of a great resurgence. Parents are looking for an alternative to public education, and many are making the switch to Christian education, where their children are treated as special individuals created and gifted by God. Every kid has something that they, they're really good at and something that maybe they struggle with. And I look at the uh, acceptance of students that come to a Christian school environment. It really is wonderful, and it's, it's good for us. We don't need all kids that are all straight A's. We need kids that, that do their best. For the basketball team, doing its best has translated to a return to the national tournament 
where last year they fell just short of a national championship. To make it that far was, was our goal the whole season, but to kind of come up short like that and come in second was, it was tough, but in the end we got to where we wanted and that was the championship game. I drove 24 hours after that game and I needed that time. I needed to like just be still and I got home and it kind of like really hit me when I watched some of the documentaries that we had made on it. It was magical uh, and crazy, crazy ride. And those kids were like here before we are where we're at now. That group of guys and those seniors last year really, really made a, a lasting impact on my life and a lasting impact, I think, on our program and our school. And so there's so much gratitude for those kids and the, and the team we had last year. This year, Sunrise heads into the national tournament with the number one seed. Truly, the, the, the turnaround to this year was you wouldn't expect it. I don't think anybody in the, in the country would have expected this either, and I'll probably be the first to tell you that I wouldn't have either, but uh, we, we have a really, really good group of guys that don't care who gets the credit. They let us push them, they let us hold them accountable, um, and, and they've embraced what we want them to be much quicker than I anticipated, and, um, we far exceeded the expectations of, of, of probably even their head coach, to be honest. And yeah, we're, we're, we're in a really good spot with our connection and, and love for each other. And I think it's kind of winding down. It's a little sad, but it's exciting to finish hopefully strong. How does one explain the success of this school? Coach Barnwell has an answer. Sunrise is on a mission. When you have the crazy results that we have, it doesn't scientifically or mathematically makes sense, there has to be a blessing. And we are very, very blessed. You know, we're a mission. This is the purest form of basketball that they'll play the rest of their lives because they're gonna step into a business. College basketball is a multi-million dollar business and then some of them are gonna make, hopefully, a lot of money playing after they play in college basketball. But like, don't ever stray away from the mission. The mission is always the same no matter where you play. 